Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you guys are. Uh, guys, smash the like button as always, guys. Hit the subscribe button. Share the videos if you're, uh, you know, to help the channel grow. Um, guys, I want to get, I want to talk a little bit about, yesterday I said I would, Jamal Charlo. Jamal Charlo and Dimitri Bivol uh, met each other. At, I don't know. I think it, I think it may be the Regis Prograde fight. And Jamal Charlo was basically saying to Bivol, let's fight. You know, let's fight. Uh, and he was almost trying to... I, 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 I felt what... I mean, Bivol was basically telling him that, you know, I'm, I want to be undisputed. We can fight, but I want to be undisputed. My goal is to be undisputed. My goal is to become a champion. Uh, and basically, Jamal Charlo was saying, obviously, I fight at 160. And he said, let's fight at 168. No, no. Basically, first he would say, let's fight. And he goes, what weight? Like, Bivo was a bit shocked. Like, what? And then he said, what weight? Uh, and then he said, and then Charlo said, 168. Um, and Bivol, Bivol kind of said to him, well, uh, I, I, you know, want looking, I'm looking for belts. You know, I don't want to fight, guys. I'm looking for belts. And Charlo was like, well, I've got the WBC. Well, ch firstly, Charlo has. When has Charlo got the WBC in the 168 division? He was almost trying to convince Bivol that he's got a belt at 168 when he hasn't, and he was almost saying something like he was undisputed at 168. I didn't understand what Charlo was saying. Almost like, I, I, I like Bivol was almost surprised. And what, what's this guy talking about? Like he was a bit confused because he was basically saying that you got belts at 168 because the only guy that holds belts at 168 is Canelo. Um, Charlo, like for me personally, I I like Charlo. I've always liked the Charlos. I, I like Jamel a whole of, whole of lot, especially with what he's done. But Jamal Charlo, for me, I don't think he like. Look, if he wants to fight Bivol, I re I would love to see that fight at one sixty eight, one seven five, whatever he wants to do. I'd love to see that fight. But for me, it's all smoke and mirrors. For me, there's no way that Charlo's gonna get in the ring with Dimitri Bivol. I mean. He, this is a guy that's not even got in the ring with Andre. He's not going to get in the ring with Dimitri Bivol, a 175 fighter in his prime. I mean, there's no chance. There's just no chance he's going to get in the ring with uh, Dimitri Bivol. You know, so it's good kind of like, you know, his fan, maybe his fans that he's got will be convinced that, you know, he wants to fight Dimitri Bivol. He doesn't want, I mean, come on. That was, that was the most cringiest, awkward thing i've ever seen i mean he was almost telling bivol let's let's fight and then i seen him in another interview actually say that he'll knock bivol out i mean like this is a guy that couldn't knock out montiel he's gonna knock bivol out i mean come on let's be realistic even if you're a jamal charlo and you support you know jamal charlo whatever even like that i mean even that's stretching it i mean saying he's gonna knock out dimitri bivol i think we can all agree that he's not going to knock out Dimitri Bivol. That's just not happening. You know, I I really found what he said bizarre uh, about Biv just talking to Bivol's face, almost trying to convince people that he wants to fight tough fights and wants to have tough fight these guys. I mean, I just want to see Charlo back in the ring. I want to see Charlo fight someone in his weight division. He's calling out Bivol and saying, let's fight uh, when he knows Bivol's a 175 fighter. I mean, it's way, way, way... I mean, it's 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 too. You're basically asking uh, a guy to fight you who's two weight classes above you. Um, you're asking him to come down weight. You have to move up uh, rather than go up to 168 and look for a plant fight or look for a. You know, Benavidez was calling this guy out for so long. I mean, he he wasn't even. He was reluctant to fight Benavidez. He was saying that Benavidez is a, a cruiserweight and this, that, and the other. Now he's saying he's willing to fight Dimitri Bivol. I mean. It doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't make sense. This is a guy that said that, you know, Benavidez should be fighting guys at cruiserweight because he's too big. And then now he's saying that he's willing to fight Dimitri Bivol, who's even fighting at a heavier weight than, than Benavidez. I mean, and better fighter than Benavidez, in my opinion, technically. So, and and to be honest with you, it, I, I wouldn't give Charlo any chance against Bivol. I mean, Bivol is too skilled and Bivol has a style that would cause Charlo fits. 
I mean, he has a style that for me is all wrong for Charlo. Anyway, he's got great foot movement. He's got he's got great speed, great hand speed. I mean, that's not the kind of style that Jamal Charlo does too well against. We can just go and watch the Korobov fight, uh, and we can see. And Korobov has not, got nothing on Dmitry Bivol, and he's a smaller guy. So if Korobov is giving you trouble, imagine what someone like Dmitry Bivol would do. I mean, that's something what Stephen, my good friend Stephen, who I haven't spoke to for a while, would say a bit of a gimmick. You know, you don't want to go in there against someone like that. There's no chance of him winning. There's no chance. I mean, uh, it, it's a, it, it would be a ludicrous fight. But if it's at 168, I would endorse it. I, I think I would endorse it. Like, why, why, why can't these guys take those kind of risks? Why can't Jamal Charlo take that kind of risk? Sorry, guys. Why can't Jamal Charlo take that kind of risk? Why? Why can't Jamal Charlo get in the ring with someone like Dimitri Bivol? I mean, Jamal Charlo's not that much smaller than Canelo. I mean, he's taller than Canelo. So why can't he get in the ring with someone like a Dimitri Bivol? I mean, I, 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 I would endorse it at 168. I think if he wants to move up to 168, Bivol would endorse that fight. I mean, Bivol would want that fight at 168, which I don't think he would because what does Charlo bring to the table? Absolutely nothing. I mean, he's got no belts. Why would Bivol go down to 168 to fight a fighter or to fight a fight which i mean does nothing for him i mean the guy's a smaller guy he's got no belts at the lower weight class what what what, what does bivol gain from fighting jamal charlo now if jamal charlo wants to fight him at 175 and he wants to move up for his title because at the end of the day what would jamal charlo be fighting bivol at 168 for because he's got no belt bivol's got no belt so it's the most cringiest, bizarrest thing. And, and this is why a lot of people criticize Ch Charlo, especially not so much the, the not so much Jamel, because Jamel's proven himself, but Jamal, because of the fact that this sort of behavior, I mean, it's it's a bit erratic. It's a bit like people what people younger kids now would say call cap. Like it's rubbish. I mean, you don't really have any intention of fighting Jamal uh, uh, Dimitri Bivol. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, it doesn't add up any way you look at it. It just doesn't add up. So if Jamal Charlo wants to fight somebody, he should be calling out guys. I mean, he had an opportunity to fight Andre. You know what I mean? And that fight didn't get made. And that's a realistic fight. Then we start talking about fighting Dimitri Bivol. I mean, those are not, that's not a realistic fight. That's a, that's a, that's a silly fight. I mean, a fight that, you know, it's not going to happen, you know? So, I, I I just think it's... I, what, like I said, young people say cap. I mean, I don't think there's any intention there to fight Dimitri Piffle. There isn't. Otherwise, like I said, it to me, the, the, the meeting between them, uh, the conversation between them was very cringy. I mean, like, Bivol was almost confused. He was almost confused. Like, what's this guy saying? I mean... He was like, first he was confused, like, what weight? Then he was saying, you've got... Then he was like, Charlo was almost trying to convince him that he has got a belt at 168 when he hasn't. And then they kind of cleared that up. Yeah, you know, you know, I haven't got a belt. But it was, like I said, it was just like... I, I don't know whether Charlo was trying to play, play a big one that I'm not scared of you. I know you beat Canelo, but I can beat you this, that. I mean... Uh, it was just bizarre. It was just bizarre to say the least. And I, and I just want to see Jamal Charlo fight, to be honest. I want to see Jamal Charlo fight someone good, you know. Now, Bivol is a good fight. If, if he fights Bivol at 168, I'll endorse that. But I just don't see Bivol having any interest in Jamal Charlo. Because he hasn't got a belt. If he had a belt or a couple of belts, then that's a different matter. But he has no belts. He has nothing for him to gain. And he wants to be undisputed. So that's why he, he may come down to fight Canelo. Because... I don't think Bivol will come down to 168 to fight any Tom Dick and Harry. I think he'd only come down for a big opportunity where he can win belts. He's not going to... Why is he going to fight Charlo for nothing? I mean, what's he going to gain fighting Charlo? Absolutely nothing. You know, Charlo... Like I said, Charlo brings nothing to the table. Absolutely nothing. You know, I, I think I think Bivol would get a lot of criticism. People would actually call him a, that a cherry pick, to be honest with you. I think if if Bivol was to fight Charlo, I think people would call that a cherry pick, especially if he, if he goes if he beats him comfortably, which I think he would. I think he'd beat Charlo handily because Charlo, like I said, struggles against that style, and Bivol is is I mean, 
he's no Korobov. He's different. He's different gravy. He's different level. You know, so for me, that would be a no go for for Charlo, and that's why I think that is is cap, as you guys would say. But that's my that's my opinion on it. Leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Love to know your opinion, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.